Good morning. There's a lot of noise going on in the background, so just ignore it. My dog's eating her breakfast about four feet from me. Oh, well, I think she's done anyway. These are the only things that we have sold. I got these for free in a box with a bunch of other stuff that we got for free. They are Fitz and Floyd. They're dated 1990. They are salt and pepper shakers. They're adorable. I have had these listed for probably two years. I, I have absolutely no idea why they won't sell or wouldn't sell. I ended up taking a $10 offer on them just to move them out. There's no damage. This, this is why I don't buy salt and pepper shakers anymore. I have a really hard time moving them. Even with sold comps, even though they're Fitz and Floyd, even though they're vintage, even though they're awesome, they're super cute, there's no damage, they're collectible. I sat on these things for two years. So I'm over it. I took a $10 offer on eBay and I am shipping them to their new home. Moving on from it. <laughs> but we're going to do that and then we're going to hit some thrift stores. Bye, bus. We'll see you in a little bit. We have to go to work and make money so that we can put things into you, like walls and electrical and a solar system. See you later. Of course, we have to check out all the decorations first. Ugh, I really was not going to pick up Halloween stuff anymore, but that's only a dollar, and this is Fitz and Floyd. Look what I found. You're way better at this than I would ever be. Oh, oh, that could have been sketchy for sure. We have found a couple things. Rich looked up the Fitz and Floyd and in, in perfect condition. This thing is selling consistently for right around a hundred dollars. Who? I don't know. This one does have a tiny little chip somewhere on it. I just don't know exactly where it is. I think it's on the chimney. Yeah, right there on the chimney. So, thinking maybe still worth hopefully around 60. We are definitely getting it for $8. This is a dollar. I've been selling the well, I shouldn't say I've been selling. I sold one. I'm on the fence about getting this one for a dollar, but I feel like it's a dollar. It's not breakable. It's easy to ship. Maybe I should just get it anyway. And then we're going to look this stuff up. This thing. It's very interesting to me. It's cast iron. It's a frog. It opens up for some unknown reason, and it is marked Wilton on the bottom. I'm gonna look this up right now because that's just I like have to know. inquiring minds need to know. I don't think I showed this when I found it. It is vintage. It's like a carpet bag with uh, four leaf clovers on it. I like the pattern. I didn't even realize until just now that it was like a carpet bag. Three dollars here. People, I guess, are asking right around thirty or forty. So I think so far we're getting everything that uh, we grabbed today, which rarely happens. The frog. I'll go over the frog. The frog is kind of. I don't know. People are asking upwards of like sixty dollars for these things. Everyone that we can find that has sold on eBay specifically are only selling between eight and ten dollars. I'm getting it anyway because I feel like. I feel like I can get a little bit more than that. <laughs> I don't know, eight to 10 bucks seems pretty cheap to me for this. I am going to list it for right around 20 or 25 bucks, I believe. In likeness, these are being asked between like 16 and 30, so I can always throw a best offer. They only want three for it. And I guess I'm kind of just in a buying mood today, so I think we're going to grab everything that was in the cart. $12 and some change. I'm wondering if the Halloween stuff was half off because that Fitz and Floyd cookie jar was $8. So it makes no sense that our total was $12 and it's like 72 cents. Unless that was half off. I, I don't know, but we're gonna head to some more stores. Habitat for Humanity Restore. I didn't even think about the flooring and stuff here for the bus. Look at all that, that's beautiful color. Mmm, we might be twofold when we come here now. We might be looking at stuff for the bus and stuff to resell. Ugh, womp, womp, womp. This is why I come here. Stuff like these saloon doors. I sell the crap out of these things. I'm so bummed that that one's broken. I would have bought those in a heartbeat. Holy moly, check out what is here today. And I'm sure it is extremely expensive, but that's awesome that it's in working condition. Not for sale, but free to play. Oh, it's not for sale, but it is free to play. 
Dude, that thing is epic. I wouldn't sell it either. I don't blame them. That's awesome. I found a chair. Antique chair for $2. I like the, the shabbiness of it. I think it's a good one. We're back out. Or still out. We have that exact same shelf in the antique booth. Oh my god, these things are so freaking cute. They're pottery. Fish. Look at those. Those are so cool. Try to figure out if it's worth $8. It's a pottery armadillo vase. Vessel thing. And it's freaking amazing. But I don't know if it's $8 worth amazing for resale. That's the only thing we left there with today. $8. I think it's an armadillo, it's pottery. It's pretty freaking sweet. Can't really find any comps on it though, so price is uh, kind of up in the air at the moment. We have come upon a yard sale. Kind of looks decent too. Hey, pro tip for you guys. You know what really helps when you're at a garage sale? Bringing cash, which I don't have. Dude, bro. Yeah. Epic, but it has chips all over the ears of the owls. We're leaving it behind and moving on. Mystery buys! Because it is monsooning outside and I didn't take the camera in, but we bought some cool stuff. Alright, we had to make a quick pit stop. We've been in line, technically. Online in line. At Secretary of State since this morning. We hit the front of the line. So we made a quick pit stop. The bus is now completely legal to drive. And we're at our last thrift stop right now. Possibly. They want $2 a piece for them. There's four. The vintage brass butterflies. Now, is it worth spending $8? I don't know. I'm looking them up right now. These are a little different, but in general, it doesn't seem like they're selling for very much, which is kind of heartbreaking. I really like them. Sometimes I feel like I should just will myself. Not myself. I should will things to be worth more than what they actually are. I'm putting these guys back. Unfortunately, just because I like it doesn't mean it's worth anything. I don't even understand this. Oh, they're napkin rings. Missing one, though. And it's broken. And they still want... Oh, it's like $2. I'm hoping the whole thing's $2. Oh, please don't be expensive. Please don't be expensive. This is Pyrex. I don't even see a price on it. Hold, hold your horses. I gotta find a price. And of course, it doesn't have a price tag on it, which means they might not sell it to me. I'm freaking out. They priced it for me $6.99, and I did relook them up because it's been a while. Seems to be they're selling around 40 bucks. All right, I am on the fence. It's $5. It is a modern quilt with very bizarre pattern. <laughs> I don't know. The back, it is finished on the back. If I can get to it. It is finished on the back. In freaking turtles. I don't even know why I am debating this. It's a $5 quilt that's backed with turtles. I just talked myself into it. We're buying it. It's coming with us found myself a t-shirt. Tell me that's not epic. Dude, I'm gonna wear that like every freaking day. I love it. I actually have to like back up to get everything in the haul. We did pretty swell today. I love days like this. Uh, I grabbed this antique chair for a whopping two dollars. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got that shabby old paint. I just freaking love it. Not sure if that's going in the booth yet or if I'm going to throw it up on Marketplace first, see if it moves, or I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. It's basically where I'm going with that. This bag is vintage. I believe they call it a carpet bag. It's definitely carpet-like. I don't know. Uh, it is vintage. It has a, a handmade in Indonesia tag inside. Rich said they're going for like 30, 40 bucks or being asked 30 or 40 bucks. There's nothing wrong with this one. It's in pretty good condition. I'm not one to usually grab bags, but I took a chance on it just because I like, I like the pattern. It just, it screams retro to me. I love it. 
We'll see how it does financially speaking. Kind of the same thing with this. It is cast iron. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it, but it is marked. Oh, it's upside down. It is marked Wilton. I don't know. They were being asked all the way up to 60 bucks, but the ones that we could find that were sold comps were only selling between eight and ten dollars. I plan on listing mine for like 25 or best offer. Even if it sells for eight to ten bucks, that's still a smidge of a profit. This kind of the same thing. We couldn't really find any major uh, comps that were, you know, sufficient. Like, oh, I found this exact same one. It's selling for forty dollars. We could find stuff that was similar to this uh, that were selling anywhere between like sixteen and thirty. So I'm gonna list this one for thirty bucks or best offer. It's not that heavy for being wood. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. It's like an art piece, but it's a bowl. It's a functional art piece, if you will. This, you guys didn't even see me grab. <sighs> this is a little bit frustrating. I have been looking and looking and looking online for comparables, and I can't find anything. I have no idea if this is a reproduction. I have no idea if it's legitimately old. I have no idea the glass maker. I have zero information. I paid $6.50 for the set, but this, this seems very mid-century to me. The way that the blown glass spout is and the handle. The blown glass handle also reminds me a lot of Blendo. So that being said, I don't think it's a reproduction. But if you know who makes it, please let me know down in the comments because I am very well going mad trying to figure this out. It's driving me crazy. The Pyrex Percolator that was not priced. They took it in the back and priced it for me. I mean, this, you can see, has bubbles in the glass. All of the pieces are here, which is amazing. It is awesome. They are selling for right around $40, $45. It's been a while since I've had them. I think that they were selling a little bit above that the last time I sold one. Prices seem to have gone down on Pyrex all the way around, but this is still seems to be selling between $40 and $45 in good condition, which this one is. There's no chips or cracks or anything. It's in good shape. I like it. This, I'm pretty sure, is an armadillo. I also cannot find anything like it. I can find similar pieces. So one was in a museum. I'm not really sure comparable prices. I don't know, because I can't really find anything exact. Um, I think I'm gonna stick it up for like $68 because it is a handmade art piece. It is functional as a vase. It's a freaking armadillo, I think. And it's awesome. So I can always do best offer, see what happens, but it's pretty freaking cool. Paid eight for it. This piece is the also, or this piece is also one that you did not see me pick up because I did not take the camera inside. It was monsooning. It is beautiful. All this lace. There's no damage and it's got like frillies. I don't feel like you can go wrong with frillies. This I plan on tagging up and putting in the antique booth because I have a couple listed on eBay and Etsy right now. Problem lies in the fact that the box size is huge, which makes shipping kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to stick this one in the antique booth for 25 bucks and see if it moves. Also picked this guy up, which is gonna get listed very quickly because honestly I shouldn't even be buying Halloween stuff at this point, but Probably worth about 10 to 12, probably listing it at like 9 dollars because we're hitting that time frame for people to buy it at this point and then wait for it to get packed and shipped. They only aren't going to be able to use it for very long. It's already like midway through October. This piece is awesome. It is Fitz and Floyd. It is a cookie jar and apparently one you should be looking out for. 
This one's clean. It's in good condition. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that. That's freaking awesome. It does, however, have a tiny little glaze chip right here on the chimney. Uh, it's not bad enough for me to leave this behind. I'm probably going to list it between $60 and $65 with a best offer because, again, we're midway through October. So by the time someone purchases it and it ships to them, they've really only got a very small amount of time to enjoy it, which sucks. Last but not least, this quilt. This quilt is something different. Look at the patterns we got going here. It's just, it's everywhere. We got penguins, we got floral, we got like, I don't know what that is. We got squirt, oh no, that's a rabbit. We got bears. <laughs> we got like all sorts of stuff going on with this quilt. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. I paid $5 for it. I have literally no clue what it's worth. I'm gonna do a little bit more research. That will likely go into the antique booth right off the top of my head. I'm thinking between 20, no, probably 30 and 35. Probably 30 to 35, that's what I'm thinking. Um, and that is everything we've purchased for resale today. We are waiting for somebody to come pick something up from, I believe, Marketplace. So we'll keep you informed on that. This is what we are waiting for somebody to come pick up. Old, yeah, it's an old Technics tape deck. Uh, $30. I dug it out of my uh, grandpa's garage and got it for free. So less clutter at his place, more money in my pocket. Indeed, because I think we're going to go bowling tonight. And on that note, we're going to close the video for today. The guy picked up the techniques thing, whatever it was. Tape deck. Tape deck. Tape deck. That's what I was uh, going to say. <laughs> $30. And uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.